Ruiz and I'm owner at the Antonio's farm and I've been farming here for ever since 2012. I have good years and bad years but this year is look like it's going to be a better year than last year so I'm happy. Well, I have here raspberries, corn, and strawberries, then some blueberries, but the blueberry plants were small, so they probably take another three years to be able to harvest some. And some sweet corn is coming, and peppers, tomatoes are becoming some, and that's about it. But what I really interested is in berries. I'm a berry guy. Well, because it's what I've been growing for the last six years. You know, raspberries and strawberries. And now I'm trying blueberries, but kind of difficult to grow because I, I never grown before, so I don't know what the and puts to put it on. <laughs> but I'm learning, little by little. Well, my great-grandfather was agriculture, my grandpa, then my dad, and now myself. So we've been in a generation of agriculture for a while. We're from Mexico. You know, we were farming over there a long time, and then year 2000, uh, no, 19, 72, I came over here when I was 18 years old, and then I started working in the orchards, growing pears. Then I worked for 28 years. Around here? Around here in the valley. And then, to year 2000, I quit working in the orchards, and then I started growing my own veggies. Then, little by little, I just became to be a, produce more and more, and now I, I produce around four acres. And that's how, yeah, four acres. And that's how I started. So I'm in this business ever since uh, 2006. I was, I started over there in Sands Valley, then I farmed over there for um, about five years. Then I moved over here, 2012. Then I've been here ever since. Yeah, I, I've been putting some fertilizers, you know, horse fertilizers in there and messed it up with the soil and the soil is looking great now. So and then unorganic, so I don't use any chemical fertilizers or pesticides whatsoever. So I just do fertilizer. I mean, uh, uh, what do you call it those? Manures, yeah. I scatter those in the fall. So that way, if it be any problems, the soil will clean them out. So, and then that's how I do it. I have some problems with the bugs, you know. They, sometimes they eat 25%, but then I get the 75% myself. And that's how I, I, it's been working. But I learned that if you keep healthy plants, then the bugs leave them alone. Strawberries, uh, you know, I just, I worked for somebody before I started growing it. This is back in the year 2000. I was working for this guy. I don't remember his name, but he was in the Applegate area. So he was a strawberry growing. So I worked for him for three different seasons. Then I learned some, then year, year 2006, I started growing my own. And I've been learning, making mistakes in there. And I've been uh, growing strawberries ever since. Right. Well, no, I buy the plants first. 
Then as to the, then, then the starts are just transplanted every year. Then when they get oh, four or five years old, then I get new ones. I also more new plants and plant it and do another four years and then rotate it. That's it. So this is my second year on different variety than for the last five years because this is a new variety. And seems to me it's working really well because you can see the size of the berries, a pretty good size. And this variety is every berry, so once uh, as a dual, they just keep it producing all the way to October. And you have you pick. Well, where do you sell your product? I sell my products at the farmers' gross, yeah, farmers' market. Three days a week. I then go up and chopping cart. But I haven't done that for the last two years because we had a bad years, not no enough water. So I hope and I get back again in a year or two. But I usually do you pick, but this year I don't think I'm be, going to be able because I don't have enough. So some guy called me that he wanted 20,000 pounds oh. for the strawberries. No, I don't even answer him because, shoot, no, I, I don't have them. I don't know where he was from, but he left me a message. He was interested in buying strawberries. He, was, he wanted 20,000 pounds. Way too much. My wife and my kids, they helped me during the harvest, but the, the rest I do all myself. You know, planting and weeding and all that, irrigate. I do myself because I have a tractor and I have good implements I can take care of. And I can do that myself. Sands Valley, I was farming over there back in the I started over there in 2006 and worked all the way to 2010. But it was not enough water in there. It was pretty dry. So I was irrigating after three pounds, you know, so we get it a good heavy rainy year, then we store some enough water, but when it was a light year raining, So then it was the same problem as we last two years. <laughs> so then I move over here and I was planting water for the next four years, I think, yeah. And then last year and a year before, we, we start having the same problem, not enough water. But this year, it look like it's gonna be enough water. I just last all my strawberries that I had before, because they, they, they die and some of them got disease because being so dry, not enough water in early spring and late fall. And that'll keep last year and then these all new plants that are that I plant them and these were planting in uh, last June. So I just plant this little area here to get new plants and then the rest I grab the plants for here and transplant them over there in the other fields right over there so you can see there's about, about 12 rows in there and I have another area I can put some more later whenever I get enough plants. And up above are the raspberries. And then yeah then I have raspberries over there. The raspberries got a little hurt too you can see the area in the middle and they're how they turn in yellow they're dying too because of that but they're going to come back once I keep them warm enough from now on they're getting new, new starts coming. We, I grow some massacre. My wife makes tortillas, tamales, you know, so this year I did it there because I, I was having extra land because, you know, it takes a little, a whole year to fill it up with the strawberries, but usually what I grow most is strawberries and raspberries. But this year, you know, I didn't have enough plants for the whole field, so I grow a little corn here and there just to keep everything fail. And peppers too, peppers, I have some peppers that I grow for people, you know, and sometimes I make a salsa for my, myself for the winter. Yeah, so, you know, we've been living off the farm, my family and I. So I don't hire people because 
This is a family farm. And my, my children don't want to be a farmer. They, they think it's too much work, so they don't want to be getting stuck like me, working all the time. It's a lot of work, sometimes it's not enough money. You know, so, but I do because I like it and I enjoy eat what I grow. And if something becoming later, hard time to get your food, then I can grow my own. So I'm not afraid of that, because <laughs> I can grow food. So probably never happen, but I'm prepared. So that's right, I'm not making a lot of money, but enough just to survive. Sometimes I gotta borrow some money from my friends, not a lot, because I never wanna get involved with the banks, because then in a bad year, I know I can lose my business. So it's really hard for me, but I'm happy that I still and survive. That's the way. Yeah. That's the way. Yeah, so I'm not making a lot of money, but sometimes I just make enough to survive. Then sometimes when the in the winter time then I work for somebody else doing pruning so I can make it money for to eat at that time. So I'm not dependent all by the farm. So I do a lot of pruning. Yeah. Fruit trees. Because I did after I harvest the corn, till it end it and prepare it for, for the garlic, because the garlic I plant them in October and November. I put some in, in October, couple terrace because it's four terrace. So I do four, two, and then November I do the other two. Then that way I can have a little early garlic for them. There's a three-year-old plants, but for the last two years they didn't grow any because I didn't put enough water. I was just keeping my life. <laughs> and, and I'm happy I did because I was using drip just to make them survive. But now it's plenty of water, so I've been giving them enough. So you can see I have a nose grown. Sometimes it's a 10 inches long already, so I'm happy they're coming. See, then these blueberries for them down is one variety, early variety is called Chandler's. And for here up is another seven rows. This call it Agroras, and they're coming in a later, like in September, October. So I, I have different varieties, they grow in different times. So that way I can have a little long season. Because if I get a whole bunch all in once, it's no, it no work for me because I can only sell so much in each market. So I like to have a little bit, but long process. And then over here, I plant last year seven short rows at blackberry thornless. And they like this ground, boy, they, they're doing really good. Look, they already have a little fruit. So because those who, who grown great and I, I like that. This is my raspberry patch and you can see all those rows in there. Last year they were really solid rows but I lost all those plants because for the run being so dry no water last year. So, and then you can see the rest of the plants in there, some are dying, but there's going to be new stars coming up. I always, I always do, so all these rows that got messing, I'm going to replant them in the fall. Well, that way they can get it going. Yeah, I want to get some more plants off of this too, and then fill it up that way. See, see how next year it'll be. Here, so it turned out like a campo, so I put it all the way around and look at the difference in the plants. It looks beautiful. They like that. And the fruit got a little large. And this is organic, 100%. I never use no chemical fertilizers or pesticides. Good stuff. Good and tasty. And that's why I like to be a farmer because nothing tastes better than on the vine to your mouth. <laughs>